Hi guys, welcome back to Busted the Built. I'm Kurt, and it's that time of year again. We're gonna get the Tahoe undercoated. The snow's coming here on the salt belt, and so we gotta get it protected. It's gonna be kind of a two day process. First things first, we're gonna get it up in the air, wheels off of it, and the fender liners out of it, and the spare tire down, and then power wash the whole underside of it, get this year's worth of grime off of it. So we got a fresh canvas to get our fluid film on and then we'll go from there and but like I said it's just a process so first things first is we're going to get it all prepped and ready to go and from there we'll have to uh, get the fluid film on it and then hopefully everything will turn out good. Start with the spare tire. Flashlight should fall out Make noise. <laughs> Look at that pristine frame already. Three Michigan winners. Still like new under there. down you can see all the last coating from last year all my undercoat catching a whole bunch of dirt in there but now we're gonna get all that cleaned off so we can get a whole new film on there to protect it for this year but it does a good job of getting behind and keeping everything really protected and all good fresh paint there from the factory yet behind all that goop so it's doing what it's supposed to Too much. 
part of the project which is the drying so we're just gonna let it hang in here overnight with the heat on and it'll be drip dry in the morning and we'll be able to get our fluid film on here and that'll be the next portion so we'll be with you tomorrow back at it today guys as you can see we're all drying here in the shop drying out in the Tahoe I've got my five gallon bucket of fluid film here that I've been using for it the last couple years so now it's half of a five gallon bucket but got my home brew mixing stick here so we'll get her all stirred up this is lit. fluid film applicator gun here and it comes with all your little swivel sticks you can Put this on and shove it in the frame and blast it all through the frame rail if you wanted to. I don't get too carried away with that piece, it's easy too. So this is the main guy that I like to do the sprayer. We'll get her all filled up here. See how good this works. I'm gonna get plugged up in the Now I got a little warm funnel. Drops 
kid played off yesterday, so I'll do that too, so I can get really scared and gooped up in there good. After much anticipation, we're ready to spray now. So I'm gonna get in the fender wells first, just because I got my little headlight on the charger. Very valuable tool when I'm doing the underside of it. So we'll do this here while I can see and that thing's on the charger and see how we make out. And now we got the Tahoe all back together, so it's an absolutely disgusting job to do, but it's totally worth it. It makes it, you know, like I say, makes it so you got a vehicle that's actually going to stay in one piece structurally for the time that you plan on owning it, especially if you're in the salt belt. So down south or out west, it probably don't matter a whole lot, but just some nasty stuff. You can see this nasty film that's on the windshield, and that's all just, uh, you know, Kind of, not really overspray, but it is. But, I mean, that stuff just kind of goes out in the air and whoosh, it's all over everything. But, anyway, so we got all these fender liners back in, wheels and tires on, skid plates, and it's ready for a whole nother winter of abuse. So I appreciate you guys watching. If that's something that helped you, maybe consider leaving a like, comment, or even subscribing to the channel. And I really do appreciate the traffic, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Power washed and let it dry overnight. Rate up. Hey. Stay.